Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss inverse scissor transform by residue method. Next problem, in last video I solved one problem uh, based on simple pole and pole of order more than one combination. Now I will solve the pole of order more than one. So let me see the question. Find is the inverse of is into is plus one by is minus one whole cube by residue method. This is the question. So now we need to solve this inverse is transform by using a residue method. So already we know that what is meant by residue method for the given function. We need to convert into the form x of z into z power n minus 1. Then for that we have to find residues. Right. We start the problem. So now take here what is x of z. Our x of z is z into z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 whole cube. So this is our f of z. But our function we need in the form of x of z into z power n minus 1. So multiply both sides by z power n minus 1 so you can get z power n minus 1 into z is nothing but z power n into z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 whole cube so this is the value for x of z into z power n minus 1 is a form now for this function we have to find in the residue of this function then that gives the inverse is a transform of the question right now go by residue method so before you go residue first we need to know what is mean by what is it poles so what are the poles here to get poles to get poles equate denominator equal to 0 so this implies we have a simple idea z minus 1 all cube equal to 0 so the simple function so z minus 1 all cube equal to 0 is nothing but z equal to 1 occurs 3 times therefore z equal to 1 is a pole of order 3 so at the point 1 the function goes infinity therefore this function this point is said to be a pole of that function so it repeats three times therefore order is three right now we can find what is the residue of this function so here we are having only one pole so it's very simple problem so now first just find the residue of f of z at z equal to a for pole of order m the formula is 1 by m minus 1 factorial limit z tends to a d power m minus 1 divided by d z power m minus 1 into z minus a whole power m into f of z. This is a general formula. Now here our function is x of z into z power n minus 1. So we have to find residue of x of z into z power n minus 1 at our pole. Now for this problem our pole is 1. So apply at the value a equal to 1 and the order of the pole is 3 therefore m equal to 3 your order referred by m therefore here 1 by m minus 1 factor is 3 minus 1 factor is 2 factorial limit z tends to 1 a value of a is 1 d power m minus 1 m is 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 by d z square into z minus 1 all power m is 2 into x of z into z power n minus 1. So this is our function now. Therefore 1 by 2 factorial is nothing but 1 by 2 limit z tends to 1 d square by d z square and z minus 1 whole square into our x of z into z power n minus 1 is uh, z power n into z plus 1 
by z minus 1 whole cube by z minus 1 whole cube so this is a, a given function and see here our order is 3 so our order is 3 means here, here 3 should come z minus 1 whole cube our m value is 3 right therefore z minus 1 whole cube z minus 1 whole cube get cancelled so if you can I hope all of you understood this one. So here m value is 3 or value m value is 3. So substitute you have to substitute 3 here. Right. Now z minus 1, z minus 1 whole cube get cancelled. Therefore the next term is 1 by 2 limit z tends to 1 d square by d z square. The remaining term is only z power n into z plus 1. Now just differentiate this term with respect to z twice, we can get the answer. So limit z tends to 1. First differentiate one time. So we can get d by d z of differentiate one time. So you should apply your uv rule. So z power n differentiation is n into z power n minus 1. z plus 1 differentiation is z differentiation 1 plus keep z plus 1 as it is. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, first differentiate z power n that is n into z power n minus 1 and keep this z plus 1 as it is. Keep this z plus 1 as it is plus now keep z power 1 n as it is. Differentiation of z plus 1 is 1. That's it. Now this is the first derivative. Now apply one more derivative for this 1 by 2 limit z tends to 1 now differentiate one more time you can get n into n minus 1 into z power n minus 1 again here I, again in the first step uv rule you have to apply so into z plus 1 plus then keep n into z power n minus 1 as it is differentiation of z plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus next z power n into 1 is again z power n so z power n differentiation is n into z power n minus 1 so here 1 by 2 now substitute wherever z by 1 so you can get n into n minus 1 this is 1 power n minus 1 into uh, z plus 1 so z plus 1 is nothing but 1 plus 1 that is 2 1 plus 1 that is 2 plus again n into 1 power n minus 1 into 1 is again same value plus n into 1 power n minus 1 so here 1 by 2 uh, take the 2 front side 2 uh, n into n minus 1 can be written as take that n inside n square minus n and 1 power n minus 1 is 1 only again so next term is also n plus n so you will get here 1 by 2 2 n square minus 2 n expand the 2 inside here n plus n is 2n so minus 2n plus 2n get cancelled so the remaining term is 1 by 2 into 2 into n square here 2 2 get cancelled therefore the value is n square therefore this is nothing but our residue this is our residue so residue of f of uh, f of z. f of z is nothing but our x of z into z power n minus 1 and z equal to 1. So, this is the only one residue. So, uh, this is nothing but our x of n. x of n, the formula is sum of the residues. Sum of the residues of x of z into z power n minus 1. But here only one residue is there. Therefore, the answer is n square.
so x of n is n square so x of n is nothing but is the inverse of x of z so our x of z is given as is the inverse of z into z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 whole cube this is equal to n square so this is the answer for the given problem so i hope you understood so we will uh, discuss more problems in next video thank you